Hi students, in this video we are going to learn materials separating methods. Before going into our lesson, we should know what we are going to learn in this lesson. The first one is understanding the making of objects. The second one is identifying states of matter, utilizing separating methods in our daily life, separation techniques with uh, examples. Okay, let's go to our lesson right now. Let us see here, one girl is there, her name is Siri. She was sitting in her room and studying. While she, studying, she heard a loud voice from the kitchen. When she went there, she saw a cat is running away from the window. See this picture? Can you guess what could have happened? Pause this video and try to write the answer. Yes, Shirisa, so many objects are there, they fallen on the floor. Some of them were broken, some were not. Can you guess what are the objects that broken and what are the objects that were not broken? Let us prepare a list. What are the objects that would have broken? The first one is cup, glass bottle, ceramic jars, etc. Let us see what are the objects that would have not broken. The first one is stainless steel plates, copper vessels, plastic containers, etc. Okay, now the question is, can you tell why some objects break and some do not? Guess the answer. Basing on the type of material it is made, some objects break and some objects do not. Just like glass and plastic. In our daily life, we are using so many kinds of objects. Those materials are made up of different types of substances. For example, the pen is made up of plastic and the clip is made up of iron. In this way, preparing so many kinds of objects by using different substances. Let us do an activity to find the materials used to make different objects. See this table. Pause the video and try to fill the table. Okay, here in this table, the door is prepared with wood, metal, rubber, paint. Go for the second one. The towel is made up of cotton thread. Let's see the third one here. Bicycle. Bicycle is made up of iron, paint, plastic fibers, etc. Knife. Knife is made up of steel, that is a metal, a wooden handle or a plastic handle. Here, the mirror is made up of glass, plastic frame, paint, etc. Go for the next one, that is shoes. Shoes are made up of leather or synthetic material. Next one is water bottle. Here the water bottle is made up of plastic or steel or glass. And last but not least, pot. You know very well, pot is made up of clay.
let us see the next topic there are many objects in our surroundings such as a chair table cycles bullock carts utensils clothes tires water bottles stones etc they are all made up of different kinds of materials just like glass plastic metal wood etc let us do one more activity here here the activity is finding the objects made from different materials here we are having one table pause this video and try to complete that table let us check your answer right now okay the first one is metal by using metal uh, we can prepare utensils tools cupboards chairs etc okay and the next one is plastic by using plastic uh, we can prepare bags bottles jars chairs boxes dolls etc okay next one is glass by using glass we can prepare mirror window panes spectacles jars etc okay the next one is wood by using wood we can prepare tables chairs windows doors cots etc okay next one is cotton by using cotton we can prepare clothes ropes screens banners etc the next one is leather okay we are either in various ways by preparing shoes handbags coats purses belts etc next one is ceramic by using ceramic we can prepare cups plates saucers jars pots kettles and the last one is rock by using rock we are preparing idols grinders rollers statues etc in this way each and every metal is using to prepare so many kinds of objects or things around us